Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi, I'm Leticia. And we're part of uh, UFI's 2020 Farmer Training Program. Yep. So what does, what's your big takeaway from this summer? I think there's a lot of things to take away. And to talk about them all is too much because I can't even think about all the amazing things that have happened. But I definitely think the amount of support that has come from this summer has been incredible. Bobby and Nataka have both been huge pillars of support. Um, I think you and Carlos, you guys have also been very supportive and just, we just have been spending the summer helping each other and realizing what it is that we want to get from life and really working towards that. And so I think this summer has really been like, despite COVID, a lot of people separating has actually been very much about bringing people together, which I think was, was really nice. I agree with that. Um, I would add that like I've really enjoyed um, working outside every day and working with my hands every day um, and being able to like know that for five times a week I'm going to be linking up with mm -hmm. Bobby and Dataka <laughs> and Abaza and Carlos. Um, and so I'm just really grateful for the, the community I feel like we've built this summer. Um, and I really enjoyed just growing with everybody and like really turning Flint into the site that it is now. Yeah. What do you, what would you say is like the funniest or craziest thing that's happened this summer? I think the wildest thing and what probably feels really divine is that we saw mink. <laughs> and it was really funny in the moment. Um, and yeah, so we were walking to Flint Street from headquarters and I was, I was, I just saw something at the corner of my eye and I was like, what is that? And then everyone like turned around and looked and then they were like, it's a mink. Um, and what's crazy is that we have been talking about minks earlier in that week and like the week before. Um, so to see one in Boston, in Mad Pan, just randomly on the street. Just running. Running was wild. Um, yeah. So that was cool. How about you? Um, I actually started thinking about back in week one when we had the tiller. <laughs> We had the tiller machine and yeah it was shaking everything and it was hurting our wrist day one and then day two we got a zip tie to hold it down so then we had to be quick when we switched it off like we had to be like okay grab it grab it or else it was gonna run off on its own what i thought that was hilarious oh that is funny i forgot about that that also feels like a very like important moment to remember in terms of like or that like kind of encapsulates kind of like my experience the whole summer i feel like i've just been like learning how to problem solve mm -hmm. and like being with Bobby and like just everyone like I feel like we're all when they a lot of things just have been popping up and especially with COVID we've just been having to learn how to navigate in a new way um, and I think we've spent a lot of the summer like leaning on each other for support and for ideas on how to like make this run smoothly and that feels good yeah I couldn't have asked for a better crew to work with this summer yeah but Great big gratitude. Yes. Peace and love. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> cool. How do you